Hello, Foster. Oh, hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. How How was your weekend? It was good. We went to my mother's. You went to your mother's house, you mean? Yes, uh, with my wife and kids. Nice, man. Nice. What do you do? What do you guys do? Well, uh, eight pupusas, obviously, and and play with my nephew. We play FIFA. <laughs> oh, nice, man. What what FIFA did you play? Uh, he has FIFA 20. Oh, he's got FIFA 20. Nice. Is it good? Yeah, he he won me uh seven to two. Seven to two, yes. All right, he beat me. All right, that will be he beat me. He beat, he beat me. me. He beat me. Seven to two. All right. Hey, that's crazy, man. That's very cool. Hello, Carlos Alfaro. Yeah. How are you? How was your weekend? Oh, it was good. I'm good, thank you. It was very good. Actually, I didn't do anything. You didn't? All relaxing at home. All right. Do you usually have to do something when you're not at work, like on weekends? Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I do not. I just, you know, I get used to be by my own and with the book or something like that, watching videos and stuff like that. I'm not really into, um, meet my friends and stuff like that. I don't have many though, so. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, all right. All right, we're just gonna... Uh, before, before you ask somebody else, uh, something I would like to ask you, uh, something yeah um who do i need to speak with to um in regards i don't want to take this course anymore do i need to talk with my company or is this something that i have to talk with the english authority uh you might want to talk to jonathan all right uh okay. just uh just send a message to english corporate but, but what happened uh, I feel like I am under pressure at work, and I have a lot of projects coming out. So, yeah, um, you're very busy. And then I am, yeah, and then I am preparing for become to a team leader. So, and I had a new today that my team leader wants me to be in his place for two or three weeks while okay. he's on holidays. So All that right. would take a lot of a lot of me. You know, no, I. I completely understand, man. I completely understand. Don't worry about that. Um, if you're this far already, because it's only like two more weeks left, I would strongly recommend you, if it's because of the time, man, I would strongly recommend you to finish the platform, though. Like, like section four and five and the final exam, that's all you're missing here. Okay? So this is what we're going to be seeing uh, these, uh, these coming two weeks. So if, if you have to leave, I completely understand it. But uh, but try to – is it possible? Do you think that it, it, it would be a possibility for you to finish the platform? Um, it might be possible, but I will need to know tomorrow because I have a meeting with my boss and stuff, so I don't know. Um, because I have to, to do trainings and stuff, so I don't know what my schedule will be, if it is going to be after work or before work. So uh, I, have okay. to, 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 I have to think about it tomorrow. All right, don't worry, man. Don't worry. Thank you for letting me know. And yes, just uh, send a message to Jonathan um, and see what what, what they say. Because it's honestly, it's the first time, man, that I hear something like that. Um, but um, but yeah, you can ask, man. Right? I think that they would they would ask you to. Uh, yeah. And I think room. my body is getting, you know, the reason why I am leaving is is my body is just getting sick, you know, because I'm oh, you're, so you're getting sick. with work and then I have to stay in the class until my and then that created me a lot of stress in my body so that's why i would yeah, have man. to take one thing out of my life for now and then <laughs> i would probably i understand don't, in the future. don't no, worry no. about that don't worry about that okay all right thank you for letting me know though okay so guys uh welcome guys all right welcome victor nice to see you francisco ronnie caballero arturo gloria allison jorge luis and jonathan Castillo. thank you for being here guys all right, guys. Did we finish the um, Did we finish section number three in the midterm? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I, did. I do. Yes, right. teacher, I did it. 
did you get did you get 100 on section number three and also the midterm of course yes <laughs> okay beautiful 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 did you all get 100 sure all right so just so other people can can uh, see it online guys okay let's let's solve it okay we're gonna solve the midterm right now because I told you I was gonna give you the answers all right so Let's see who'd like to give me the first one. All right, who would like to come come out with the first answer? All right, so who wants to give me the first one, guys? About the, uh, the listening exercise. Oh, uh... let's see, Arturo Grimaldi. All right, how are you, man? Good to see you. Hi, thank you. Hello, sir. All right, hey, uh, so do you have the answer for number one? The, the answer is Mr. Park. Okay, Miss Mr. Parks. Okay, beautiful. All right, number two. What do you got for number two, guys? Uh, forget to say thank you, I guess. Forget to say thank you. Beautiful. Gloria Navarro, what's number three, Gloria? <clears throat> uh, Gloria, you're muted. Okay. I don't remember, but I, th I think it's a friend with, with the director. Friends with the director, beautiful. Okay, uh, Bill and Paula would love being friends with the director. Okay, all right. Uh, Victor Avalos, number four. Have only wants to apply to the sky instructor positions. Okay, Caroline wants to apply for the skip strong structure position. Okay, I'm sorry, ski. Are we missing one one eye there? Mm -hmm. Beautiful guys, beautiful. All right, good job, good job, good job. All right, uh, now number one from uh, the B section. Uh, who'd like to give me the first one? Mm -hmm. All right, Good teacher Organized. Francisco. Francisco, Organized. let's go, Francisco. Organized, beautiful. All right, uh, number two. For, uh, yeah, let's go, Francisco. Number two. The whole number sentence. two is modest. Mo okay, modest. Okay, good modest. job. Okay, modest. good job. Good job. All right, uh, Ronnie Caballero, number three, Ronnie. Number three, he goes to Cal. Okay, uh, ego, you mean egotistical? egotistical? Repeat, guys, egotistical. Egotistical. All right, beautiful. Uh, number four, uh, Foster? Uh, sorry. Uh, number four, uh, plus I don't want to work with that difficult person that's um, sociable. Okay, all right, hold on. Oh, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Unreliable. 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 Repeat again. Unreliable. 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 That rapper sound, right? Uh, unreliable. Unreliable. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, beautiful. All right, uh, letter C. Oh, Elena, you joined. Uh, letter, do you have letter C, Elena? Did, did you pull um, up the... looking for that. All right, that's okay. <laughs> Alison Lopez. Which Let's one go. is the item? It's a uh, section C from the midterm. Uh, Number one. Okay. I was sending a message to everybody else right now, guys. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Okay, so who has um, number one, guys? Okay, me, me, me. Okay, all right, let's go. Um, I don't mind it when someone mm -hmm. forgets my name. Okay, I don't like it when someone. I don't so, mind. Mind. Okay. Mind. I, mind I don't it. mind it when yes. someone yes. forgets my name. Forgets my name. Okay, and a period at the end, right? Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, number two, guys. Who'd like to give me number two? Me teacher. All right. Let's go. I can't stand it 
when people are late for appointments. When people are late for appointments, okay? All right. Beautiful. Hey guys, I did um if you if you if you don't do my favor, don't don't add an extra space when you're typing in the answer because what, what happens is uh, then you get you get a wrong response, right? even if it's just a blank space, okay? So just be careful with that. Number three, all right, who'd like to give me number three? Me, teacher. Me teacher, Jorge. Go, go Jorge. Okay, it's making me happy when a friend take me out to lunch. Okay, good job. If, all right, now let's repeat, guys. It, let's repeat, guys. It makes me happy. It makes, makes me happy. Me happy. happy. When a friend... When a friend, when a friend. Okay. Mm. takes me out. Takes me, takes out. me out. Takes me out. out. Okay. And then you said for lunch, right? For lunch. For lunch. For lunch. For lunch. Okay, you can say for lunch to lunch, but let's try to lunch. <clears throat> okay, good job, guys. Now you can say takes me out for lunch, guys. That would be correct too, but uh not according to this answer here okay all right so far so good section c yes we yes good? Okay. beautiful all right uh section d guys gerund phrases all right so what is the answer for the first one brenda welcome brenda nice to see you <laughs> thank all you right. so what is uh could you could you please give me the answer for the first one uh, is working as an architect. Okay, working as an architect. Good job. Uh, hmm? Nothing. <laughs> Just finish it, finish it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to let you go without the full answer. All right, uh, let me hear you. Let me hear the, the full answer, please. The full answer? Yes. Work is a, working as an architect seems exciting. I've always been interested in design. Good job. Okay, uh, number two, guys. Cheryl wouldn't like let's go with uh, Arturo let's go Arturo give me the three I mean just, just just give me the other ones sorry number two and three two and three uh -huh. Cheryl wouldn't like um, writing a gossip column for the school paper she doesn't really care about campus politics and social activities. Thank you. Okay, repeat, guys. Politics. 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 Okay, Politics. All right. just the intonation, but the good job, man. All right. Uh, and last one, guys. What is the last one, Arturo? Design, design. Now it's time to have fun. And can I see the option, please? Yes. Um, working as an architect. Working as an architect, okay? Yeah, those are the answers. Good job, guys. All right, uh, complete it's, the it's sentence. A different answer. What's yeah, a different it's answer? Oh, I'm sorry. What's uh, retiring? Uh, retiring. At retiring. At I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I didn't see the X. All right, uh, letter E. All right, who wants to go for letter E? Me, teacher. All right, let's go, Gloria. Gloria. In aerobics, instructor probably earns as much as a tennis coach. All right, repeat, guys. And aerobics, repeat, aerobics. 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 Instructor. Instructor. Probably earns. Probably, probably earns. As much as a tennis, as a tennis coach. All right, beautiful. All right, number two, Jessica. Right now that you came came in, hello. Uh, number two, Jessica. Remember, as well pay as an international TV journalist. Okay, a web designer. All right, has. All right, now guys, you can't say as well paid as when you use the verb has here okay you can't use it with that you have to use uh, a verb be okay the verb to be so we have to use we have to come out with a different answer here. so I which the answer okay has a web design has 
has better hours than. Beautiful. Okay, mm -hmm. this one, yeah, this one will be the, the right answer. I thought you said as well paid as. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's uh, it's B, okay? A web designer has better hours than an international TV jour journalist, okay? Good job. All right, uh, pick someone, Jessica. Pick someone who likes cool. All right, Carlos, let's go, Carlos. Number three and four. Let's see. Um, Patrick, uh, uh, psychiatrics are off. Let's see, I'm not sure. Better educated than politicians? Better educated than politicians? No, they I, are I, often politicians. Sorry, I think it's the number. I think that's number three, more college degree than... Psychiatrists. Repeat, guys. Psychiatrists. Psychiatrists. Are often politicians. Are often politicians. Now, we're missing something here. I mean, they shouldn't be like this. Psychiatrists are often politicians. Better educated educated than as much as, as much work as more college degrees than... We're... we're um, we're missing something here. Which which answer which answer did you get it right with, guys? Which one did you pick? Because this is wrong, guys. This right here is wrong. The first one. The first one. Okay. Better educated than. Better okay. educated than. They, they should say, guys, psychiatrists are better educated than politicians. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there isn't anything here, but uh, yeah, that would be the right answer for this this wrong here. All right, number four. Who'd like to help me with number four? Me, Elena. Let's go, Elena. Working comedian is as much as being a movie actor. Okay. No, 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 no. It's not that. Working as a comedian is less interesting than being a movie actor. Then, okay, repeat it. Then. 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 And then a movie then. actor. Beautiful, then. beautiful, Elena. Then. All right, and the reading, guys. All right, then we're going to jump into the class right after this. Okay, so. We already read the newspaper, so which are the true statements here? The three true statements. Uh huh. Who would like the to help first me with one? this? Yes. Okay, not all plastics. Sure. Okay, so somebody said the first one. Okay, uh huh. Uh, Number four. Uh, okay. And six. And number six. Okay, all right. Yes, guys, okay. One, four, and six are the right answers. Good job, guys. Applause for you. Beautiful job, beautiful job, all right? Thank you for finishing up the midterm, guys. All right, guys, so before we move on, guys, do you have a question uh, regarding yeah. the previous the previous exercises, maybe uh, part three? Who said yeah? Um, me, Elena. Tell me, tell me, tell me. In the letter C, uh -huh. In the letter C, uh, I was wondering why you use uh, it after the, the answer is I don't mind it, but I don't know, I don't understand why you, you used it. You mean this and one? In the second, yeah. I don't it's mind it please. When, uh, yeah. when someone forgets my name? Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand why you have to use it and, and you haven't said, I don't mind when. Okay, all right, but your answer, your answer, let me ask you something. Are you asking because your answer is, I don't mind when somebody asks me or how, how do you have it in your, on your end? What is the answer that you have uh, on your end? Yeah, maybe I don't mind it. Okay, now, no, but let me let me answer your question because it's 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 a, it's a good one, guys. You're gonna have some uh, some phrases, guys, where you can uh, when you you when you um will have to use um, the subject it. Okay, it's not it's not a rule, guys. It's just like just put it this way. It's it's as if it were a single word. Okay, so phrases like I don't. Mind, if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use um, when guys, right after mind, okay? Or if you're gonna use that adverb, 
you have to say it every time, all right? So if you're not going to use the, 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 the other when, guys, then you don't have to say that. Um, you can say, for example, I don't mind you coming to visit me, uh -huh. okay? But if you're going to use, if you're going to use an adverb such as when, all right, you have to use it. The reason why is because that's the way it is. This is a whole, this is called a whole phrase, guys, okay? All right? That's when, that's why you say, I don't, you can say, I don't like pizza, right? But pizza, okay, pizza here is also a subject, okay? But in this case, guys, I don't like it, okay? Again, if you're going to use the adverb when, you have to use it, okay? So pretty much, guys, the rule, go, the rule goes like this. If you're going to use the adverb when, you have to precede it, okay? You have to precede it with the word it, it or with the subject. It's it. like in the second one. It's like, uh, what do you mean? The second, the second answer. The second answer. Yeah, I can't stand it, like for example. That. I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. Okay. When? Uh, when, because you're using the word when, all right? Um, now, it makes me... Now, this one is a little bit different, though. You said, you said it yeah, makes... Yeah, just the one and two. Okay, all right. All right, but yeah, no, good question. It's just because of the, the other when, all right? Okay, Nothing I didn't else. know that. Thank you. All right, no problem. Any other question, guys? Any unanswered, uh, any unanswered exercise? Teacher, me. Tell me, Ronnie. I have, I, I have a question saying that, Elena, mm -hmm. is just with the when or W S question? Good question. Where? It's it's with with other. Um, you can use other adverbs as well because you can say, I don't. Which one do you think is correct? I don't mind where you go or I don't mind that where you go. And about this one, I like it where you go or I like where you go. Which one I do like you think? It. I like it, I guess. All right. Now, in this case, guys, okay. Sorry. Uh, no, because you're not using the the, 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 the adverb when, all right? Yeah, so this yeah. one would be correct. In this scenario, guys, you have to use, uh, you don't necessarily need to use, I like it where you go, okay? Because this is literally saying, this acts, guys, as a verb, okay? I like where you go, okay? Uh, but you could also say, I like it where you go. But the meaning changes, guys, okay? Uh, we're not focusing on this, guys, because that's another, that's a whole um, a whole different topic, but uh, just just be aware, Ronnie, that you can say I like where you go, and you yeah. can say I don't mind where, where you go. go, okay? And you can also say I don't mind. Well, I don't mind where you go, and uh, I just repeated it in here. But yeah, uh, in this scenario, if you use a different type of adverb, then yes, you cannot, you do not need to use it, okay? All right. Thank you. For, for example, I should uh, say I don't mind who's coming. I don't, okay, yeah, you can say, I don't mind who's coming, exactly. Like, it means, I don't care who's coming, yeah. okay? Beautiful. But if you say, I don't mind when you come, all right? Now, these, these guys, this has a meaning, okay? This actually means that you don't care that, so, that uh, when you come to my house, for example, like you don't, I don't care... <laughs> If you come to my house, okay? Mm -hmm. But you have to use it like this, okay? It's just because it's all phrase, guys, right? Okay? <laughs> okay? All right. All right. Any other question, guys? Clear, clear, clear as or chata? All right, beautiful, guys. All right, guys. So let's all go to section number four, all right? Guys, by the way, did you all, t did you all send me the, uh, the answers? Did you all finish? Section three and the midterm now? Yes. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna learn how to tell stories, guys. Okay, now we're gonna listen to an audio, guys, and I want you to write down new vocabulary, and I'm gonna ask you what the story about was about, okay? So pay attention and uh, take notes. <laughs>
Hey, guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Let me, all right, guys, so let me stop you here for a minute. Uh, what vocabulary have you gotten so far? Campground. Campground. Okay. Campground, okay. Campground. Spooky. Okay, all right, hold on. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got campground. Uh-huh. Spooky, very good job. Uh-huh. What else? <laughs> Nothing else? All right, so, so far, what is the story about? What do you think the story is going to be about? Or what, what, what do you get so far? It's scary. All right, it's a scary story. Very good job. Scary story, okay? Or that could be a spooky story, all right? Spooky, is guys. It's, it's spooky is a synonym, synonym for scary. Yes. Campground, okay. The place where they're at right now, guys, that's called a campground, okay? All right. Now, what they have, guys, what they have lit on fire, that's called a bonfire. How do they call it? Bonfire. Bonfire, bonfire. okay? A bonfire is, okay, those uh, those logs, okay, logs, do you know what logs are? Logs. Logs, Lo logs is like, all right, lo que usaban para conquistar a las, a las novias antes, right, los... <laughs> Destrozos de leña. <laughs> All right, those are logs, guys, okay? Uh, I don't know if that's true, guys, but uh, that's what my okay. grandparents said, right? I love. <laughs> you use logs? <laughs> All right, so those are logs, guys. Okay, so when they're lit on fire, guys, that that uh, that turns into a bonfire, okay? All right, good job, guys. Okay, good job. Friendly, sociable. Everybody loved them, and they really really loved each other everybody could see it when they were walking down the street together they always held hands when he was working in the fields he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening oh that's so <laughs> sweet oh no then something bad happened right yes mm. one day as theodore was coming home from town he saw smoke in the distance it had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town searching searching and in his hands he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride so how did it turn out what finally happened to him that's the spooky part it's a mystery people saw him less and less and then theodore mcshane just disappeared no one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night, 
looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you, ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay, then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so uh so, so what do you think all right so who can tell me who can tell me what the story about what's about who wants to try guys me teacher all right so tell me what do you think the story was about now do me a favor guys everybody else all right, just post your answer on the discussion box down here. All right, and uh, tell me, what, what was it? What was it about? It was about a couple that had a farm, but uh, the farm was on fire and the wife died on, on it. But the husband didn't accept that, he, that she was dead on fire. So he walked in, into the into the forest looking for him, for her and the the history says that he was with uh with flowers and looking for her the the woman he's see he's looking for his wife okay so at the end of the history that came this man that has all the char characteristics that they said about the the man of the history. Okay, all right, good job. You got the point. Okay, good job. Applause, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Applause, applause, applause. Good job, guys. All right. Now we need we need more vocabulary. That but it was good, man. It was good. Even the pronunciation was good. All right, guys. So yes, the house was set on fire. Repeat, guys. Set on fire. Set on fire. Set on fire. Have you heard that Adele song? Like. Uh, what you might call it, the uh, uh, setting fire, set to, fire the rain. to Yeah, I said, she says, I set fire to the rain, right? Something like that. Okay, so yes, guys. Right. So when you when you set fire to something, guys, it means like you have you have like a match, like for example, a match, right? And you set something on fire, it, it means that you're going to make that thing um, get fire, okay? Start burning, okay? All right, now. Uh, new vocabulary, guys, okay? They say that they were carrying. How do you read this, guys? Uh-uh, it. uh -uh, it's not bouquet. Okay. Bouquet. Bouquet. Very good job. Repeat, guys, bouquet. Bouquet. Okay. Okay. All right, you don't pronounce the T, guys, because it's a French origin word. All right, mm -hmm. whoever speaks French here, guys. Uh, knows that. Does anybody speak another? Does anybody speak another language here? Nobody. Oh my God! All right, that's okay. That's okay. You're engineers, guys. You don't need that. <laughs> All right. Uh, repeat, guys. Park rangers. Park, park ranger. 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 All right. All right. Now, what is a park ranger? A station. It's a police. Police of the park. <laughs> okay. It's like the police of the park. Okay, yeah, that's a good explanation. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's like the police of the park, okay? Now, the story goes that this guy comes looking for uh, for his bride, right? Now, what is a bride, guys? His wife. Okay. Uh, now, a wife. Okay. It's not so a wife. It's not a wife. 
No, it's not a wife, okay? It's someone no. you have a commitment. Okay, it's someone you have a commitment with. Very good job. Exactly, right? It's like when you have the... the um, it's wait, like wait. a fiancé. It's like a fiancé, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but in this case, you're ready to get to get married, okay? Like you're, you're really like, she's like with a dress and everything. So that's the bride, okay? Bye. All right. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. All right. So let's get let's get some practice, guys. Okay. Let's just talk. Um, I'm going to give you five minutes, guys, and then we're going to come back here. You're going to talk about what the video was about, okay? Any oh. questions? Questions, questions, questions? I didn't see the video. You didn't watch the video? Yeah, I, I didn't watch the video. Uh, okay, but, but, but why? Because it was not... I'm I'm doing it right now. Oh, okay, because you just I talk. write to you. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay, you yeah, you were gonna call me. All right, it's sure. section. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. It's go to section four point one, four point one, and you can. I got it. Uh, tell me, Foster. What's the correct word? Uh, story or history? It depends what you're talking about. History. And in this okay. case. Story. This case, story. And spell it, please. S T O R Y, oh, okay. like okay. this story. Hey guys, what's the difference between story and history? History is, is like science. A human it is history about a science. Okay, history is uh is a, a recollection, long time. right? Like a long time. Yeah. Okay, you can you can say it's a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, you can talk about science, okay? Oh, and past. story, guys. All right, story is like, all right, like uh, it's it could be a gossip if you want, all right? That's a story. You can talk. I'm sorry, double, not double R. You're right. You can talk about the story of your life and so on. All right, guys, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Let's get into the. Um, let's get some practice right now. All right, let's join. All right, Luis, how are you, man? Fine. All right. I'm sorry, I was working. I know, man. Don't worry about that. I know that you're working. All right, I need to move somebody here because I got Francisco's alone. All right, Jose, Luis, let's get some practice. I say, can you tell me what is, what is? Hey, what's up, um, Arturo? I'm sorry, man, your partner, which is supposed oh. to be, I don't Question know, Foster is not here. Tell me. About Tell the me. video. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sorry, are you asking me a question? No, I didn't. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought that you had a question. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you uh, Foster in here. All right, so you can practice. Okay, it's okay. All right, let's go. Hi, good evening. Was somebody who was going to marry a war, a woman? That's that's I hear. <laughs> but it's okay. not. Too. So the story is about a man lost his wife in a house to to set on fire. Yeah. And he didn't want to accept that, and he go to look at her in the forest. I think so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right now, let me ask you something, guys. You said a man. The story was about a man lost her wife. Her wife. His wife. Okay. Remember, no. what do we use when we're gonna join two sentences together? When we're gonna join two. When we're gonna join um two clauses together, guys. What do we, what who? do we use? What? Who? Okay, very good job. Who, right? Who lost his? Mm -hmm. Who lost her job. wife? Who, jo who lost his, uh, his wife? Beautiful. His wife. All right. Good job, man. Other than that, that was good. Okay, keep keep talking. A bouquet of flowers. 
trying oh, to right. find the the wife. Yeah. I don't remember this part. Well, I then I didn't watch it. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> the she she says that. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> I got through that already. I, I, I got it, you know, I got it, but... I oh, really? It. Yeah, but it was like back in, uh, back in May. Uh, I think I got it. I mean, uh, they said it was like a suspicion of coronavirus uh, because I okay. lost the sense of smell. But they uh, say that, that are the sim symptoms? Symptoms? More the symptoms more lower of the of coronavirus when you lost the the sense of of sm smelling and no i didn't lose i i didn't i didn't lose the sense of uh taste taste just smelling right uh ah, okay but and i i felt it was weird man because i i was sleeping like 16 hours a day sleeping 16 Six. hours a day or more Wow. Every day, man, for like two weeks because <laughs> I felt like I, I didn't want to eat. I, I felt like I was getting, um, I eat a lot, you know, I like eating, but I was not eating, man, because I felt, I felt full whenever, uh, I ate something, even if, if it was like, you know, like, uh, like, like just, um, uh, like not too much food, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Did you get fever? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I got mild fever. Mild is like, like very, like not so, so, so bad. Okay. That's mild. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I got a mild fever, but it was really mild, man. I felt like I had a lot of, like, like my fever was high, but, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't. I mean, I just felt like, I felt like I felt really, really sick, man, but I didn't get, I didn't get high fever. Okay. And I and I did lose the sense of smell. Like I could be like, I was spraying my nose with the odorant <laughs> to see if uh -huh. I could to, to to check if I could smell something. I wasn't but able nothing. to smell anything. <laughs> nothing, man, at all. That's okay. strange. That is that was weird, man. I because uh, my nostrils weren't like stuck or anything, but but my but I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't smell anything, man. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> okay. nothing. It was weird. <laughs> So you so you got your your idea of of immunidad uh, that that the president says the el carnet de immunidad. No, I have I haven't <laughs> I actually haven't even heard about that man. Is that, is that something really? Oh my god! Yes, he said that he's going to he's he's going to give a, a, an ID so that that people can help wow. to the. To get a kit of uh, to the people, the kit of to, uh, to, preventivo. Okay. The kit preventivo. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> My God, dude, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't that's know about that. All right, keep practicing, okay. guys. Good job. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wow. So, what time do you do you wake up? Um, what are you five. talking about now? Uh, we are we are talking about how was uh, about, our day. Okay. How about the traffic in the uh, Pico? <laughs> okay, all right. All right. We're gonna, My day tired. We're Friday gonna day we're gonna go. Oh, you live because, you live, you live down in, uh, in a Pico? No, I live in Aguacha, but I oh jeez, I drive. It. He travels because every day. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I, but uh, Monica doesn't like the the study history. No. You like the scary no, story, like, Monica? Don't not like. like. Why, why? Why not? No. <laughs> She said that it's better to be happy than scary. <laughs> yes. yes. You like happy endings. Okay, all right. We're gonna yeah. go back now, guys. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> what are you? Oh, were you practicing, Jessica? Because I didn't see you joining the room. But were you practicing? Did you get to practice? Yes, but we had a lot of ideas about the video. Okay. I don't do well the conversation. 
and I think uh, the bad person is the man, but I don't know. Okay. Because the, the bad guy in the story is Ted, the, the park ranger. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. The, the, the bad guy turned out to be the, the park ranger. All right. Hey, that's something else, guys. Uh, turn out. You know what the meaning of turn out is? Everybody repeat. Turn out. Turn out. Turn out, turn out. Turn out. Turn out guys, means turn out. like, for example, if I, she mentioned like one of the, one of the girls uh, brought something up. Uh, she said, how did that turn out or something like that? How did it turn out? Okay, which is the past, which is the past of turn out. So how, did, repeat guys, how did it turn out? How did it turn out? How did it turn out? How did it? How did it? How did it? How did it turn out? How did it turn out? How did it turn out? Why right, you can answer it turned out well or it didn't turn out well. Okay. All right. So this is like como resultó. All right. Got it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. So now. Uh, introduction, guys. We're gonna we're gonna start seeing uh, the topic for uh, for today, guys, and tomorrow. Okay. Uh, what is the topic for this uh, for today, guys? Progress, progressive, progressive and past. simple past. Okay, beautiful, One. guys. What do we use past progressive for? Uh, what, what, what do you think we, we use past progressive with simple past for for guys? We use it to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. Okay, beautiful job, guys. Okay, all right. For example, okay, I'm talking. I'm 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 talking to like Toxica right now, right? Hey, Toxica, how are you? And then I got la otra Toxica, guys, right? <laughs> calling me on the other sofa, right? That's you can say. <laughs> you can say, all right. All right, David's toxic. Well, David was talking to La Toxica over the phone. The other Toxica, all right, the other Toxic called him as well. Right? All right, now, did I get interrupted, guys? Yes or not? Yes. 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 By, by what or by whom? By the other Toxic. By the other Toxic, right? <laughs> but I'm not like that, guys. I'm, I'm a good guy. <laughs> All right, no, um, but yes, guys, okay, I got interrupted by another action, okay? So that's, uh, for example, uh, tell me something, tell me something uh, that you usually do every day, um, Jessica. What? Tell me something that you usually do every day, an action that you do every day. I brush my teeth. Okay, all right, so Jessica. Okay, Jessica brushes her teeth. Okay, so Jessica brushes her teeth, okay? All right, now, Jessica, uh, tell me something that could have interrupted you while brushing your teeth. Maybe a phone call, maybe somebody knocking on the door. Um, someone knocked the door. Knocked okay, the door. someone knocks the door, knocks on the door, okay? If you say knocks the door, guys, it means like the person punches the door and he gets knocked out, you know? Right. All right, knocks on the door, okay? Like, pa, 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 okay? All right, so Jessica says, who is it, right? Now, let me ask you something, guys. If Jessica was brushing her teeth and somebody knocks on the door, does she interrupt the action of brushing her teeth? Yes or not? What do you think, Carlos Safaro? Yes. 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 Yes, guys. Okay. All right. So that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it, guys. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So who wants to help me read the first example? Somebody who has not participated so much. Uh, maybe me. All right. Let go for it. They were enjoying the morning when they thief stole the briefcase. Okay. Repeat, guys. Briefcase. Briefcase. All right, they were enjoying the morning when the thieves stole the briefcase. Repeat. They were enjoying the morning. They were enjoying the morning with the briefcase. 
by the way, guys, now that we live in El Salvador, right? Uh, when somebody points at you with a gun and tells you, give me all your, mo your money, motherfucker, right? When somebody tells you that, guys, you are, you say, I, how do you, how do you call that, guys? How do you say, alguien me robó? Me asaltaron. How do you say, me asaltaron? How do you say that? Someone stole me. Yeah. Repeat, yeah. guys. I got mugged. I got mugged. I got mugged. I got mugged. All right. That that's how you say uh, like alguien me asaltó. So I just got mugged, man. All right. Beautiful. All right. So okay, guys. So now, what is the action? What is the action that is currently happening here, guys? Yeah. Enjoying the morning. It, okay. All right. So these two guys, okay, this is gonna be, all right, the good old Cheyenne, okay? This is Cheyenne, all right? <laughs> and this is, I don't know, man, Dua Lipa. <laughs> Dua Lipa. All right? So we got, we got Cheyenne and we got Dua Lipa here, okay? And they were having a good time, okay? They were so far away from each other and not even talking to each other, but I don't know how they were having a good time, okay? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so what interrupted the action, guys? Uh, the thief stole the police. The thief, okay. Re All right, repeat, guys. The thief, repeat. Thief. The thief. 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 Thief with uh with simple past guys okay all right so uh you can see a timeline here guys i would i would recommend you not to think about it like this because this is a little bit confusing Confusing. all right all right uh i would suggest guys just 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 think about it naturally okay oh you know what i was i was uh i was making breakfast when my when my mom called me um, I was heading over to the principal's room when uh, one of my friends uh, got hit in the head, you know, by one of her classmates. Something like that, okay? So now, who can give me an example, guys? Who wants to give me another example? We have a couple of minutes sure. left. All right, go for it. Now, do me a favor. Everybody else, send me an example. Send me an example of your own, okay? Go for it. Go. I was... I. Let me think. I still was working when the class started. Okay, now guys, when we use, when we use still, guys, super good job. Applause, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now, guys, when you use the word still, all right. First off, it's still, not still, right? Repeat, so, guys. I. 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 I was. Well, I was. So what I want to what I want to to bring out, guys, is that you use the verb to be before the word still. Okay. Now this is still. Okay, that it's it's a very small a sound, right? I was still. Repeat. I was still. I was still. I was still. It was still. All right. So Allison, what was the rest of the sentence? I'm sorry, I forgot. I was still, or where you were still. Alison? Working. Okay, I was working. Working, uh-huh. When the class start. When the class start, guys? Is this Started. 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 Okay. Started. Right, simple class. Okay, guys. So so notice something here. We're gonna see about this. Uh we're gonna see more about this tomorrow, guys. But notice something here. I was still working, okay? So is this working. is this past continuous or simple past? I was still working. What do you think? Past continuous. Past continuous. Continue. Very good, okay. I like to call it past progressive, guys. It's the same, right? Past progressive or continuous, okay? All right, I just don't like writing down the word continuous. It's confusing. All right, past continuous. And when I say uh, the class started, all right? When I, when I say the class started, is that simple past or past continuous? Simple, simple past. past. All right, that is simple past, okay? All right, so what do we use to, 
to interrupt this, guys, what what um, what adverb do we use to 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 join these two together? Remember, when, 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 I, this when like or why? When. Very good. When, when. just when. right. No, you can't say why. Okay. When. All right. Uh, or you can say, well, you can say why, guys, when you're gonna use why? another past continuous, but. We're not using why right now, guys. Okay? We're not using why. I'm sorry. We're not using why right now. Forget about why right now. Yes, you can use it when you use two past continuous. Okay, but we're not using two past continuous yet. All right, we're using past continuous and simple past. Okay. All right, and this is pretty much it, guys. Okay. We're gonna continue with this tomorrow, guys. But uh, send me your examples right now, guys. These we have we have two minutes left, so send me your examples and I'm gonna check them right now. Uh, Jessica. I was watching a movie when people started to talk and scream. Good job. Uh, we were watching TV when the cell phone rang. Uh, good job, Elena. Uh, I was sleeping in my. I was sleeping when my daughter jumped on me. Okay. Uh, well, that was good, man. That was good. Fun example. I was doing my homework when my internet failed. Now, you would usually say this is vocabulary, but the glory of the, the structure is good. When my internet went down, okay? Went down. Mm. Like this. Went okay. down, right? When my inter internet went down. Right? Okay, teacher. Uh, Carlos, I was cooking when I got a call from my father. Good job. I was taking a shower when, my, when the earthquake started, okay? Okay. <laughs> I was making some reports when the internet goes down. Now, Francisco, you have to use the, the simple past of goes. Okay? It's not goes down. It's the past. The past of go, guys. What is the past of go? Went. Went, okay? My internet went down. All right. Uh, I was driving when my... Wait, you say wait. When, when, when. When my wife called me. Good job. I was praying when my cell phone rang. Uh, mm. I was drinking coffee. <laughs> and my sister spilled my cup. Okay, good job. That was excellent, um, guys. Good job. Jose sent me this to the WhatsApp group. I was having a good dream when I noise, when a noise, right? Article. Walk me up. Actually, you said walk at me, but it's walk me up. Okay? What? Good job, guys. Okay. All right, so we're going to continue with this tomorrow, guys. Uh, any requests, guys, let me know. Carlos Alfaro, I wish you well, sir. If you really can continue, I completely understand if you're here. Is he yeah, on? I can hear you. Right, are you you're still here? All right, yeah, I'm still here. All right, so, so yeah, man, uh, just talk to, to Jonathan. And uh, please, if you can, just finish the platform, too. And... Um, Hope you get him. You get well. You get better, man. All right. I know that you're very. Yeah, I have texting in, uh, but I probably will email him as well tomorrow. It depends where you know my meetings are happening in the morning, so we'll see what's happening and see what my schedule will be. Otherwise, I will have to basically not to take the call anymore. I got you, man. I got I will you. Don't worry. morning. All right. Somebody said. Somebody said, Mister. Me, Elena. Um. Well, Paz and me are in the good friends, so I, I want to know if is there any link or something like that there for I uh, can do exercises for yes. practice Paz. Yes. Uh, what I what I'll tell you what I what I'll do for you is this, guys. Guys, I am not allowed. Believe me, I used to do like games, guys, like outside of here, but uh, pretty much, guys. We like English Cooperativo almost got sued because of because of doing that. So that's why they I cannot like play things that are not in the platform for you. But I what what I'll do for you guys for Elena in this case, send me a send me a message on WhatsApp just reminding me of that, so I can give you uh, I have links so that I can give you, but not not in the class, not in this class here. I'm gonna say it in Spanish, guys. Uh, solo por motivos legales, guys, no porque se suben las clases de YouTube, verdad? No les puedo compartir cosas que no son de esta plataforma. Aquí. Pero vos me decís, mira, quiero practicar más. Dale, yo con gusto te mando un link que está fuera de esta plataforma a tu WhatsApp personal, ¿ok? So you can, so you can practice with that. Got it? 
Okay. Porque aquí, está, aquí están los ejercicios, guys, but yo sé que sí necesita más Son práctica. Poquitos. I know, exactly, right? Pero yo con gusto te ayudo, solo me un WhatsApp ahí. I got another class right now, guys. Uh, ya estoy un minuto tarde, so thank you very much, guys. Love you all. Thank you. Take good care, evening. guys. No, good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Bye. Bye.